teaches that marriage is to be a permanent relationship of one man, one woman, freely and totally committed to each other as companions for life. Our Lord declared that man shall leave his father and mother and unite with his wife in the building of a home, and the two shall become one flesh. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I do. You can now give her away. <laughs> You may be seated. <laughs> All right, my darling Lisa, you are the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. And there's nothing I want more than to devote my life to you today. Simply put, you are my best friend, my soulmate, my rib. When I was lost and all alone, like the first man waking from his sleep, 
I saw you dancing in the rain, holding my hand and healing my heart. You saw the real me and you didn't run away. You believed in me and you loved me and my kids. I promise to honor, to prioritize and protect you as long as there's breath in my lungs. You will never have to look hard to find me or wonder what's going on inside me. You will never be alone and you'll never have to do the dishes. <laughs> But you will get all of me, and I can't wait to experience every version of you. Whether you're blonde or brunette, happy or sad, on top of the world or sick in bed, in prosperity or poverty, from the valley of the shadow of death to the top of Mount Zion, through every battle and joy you experience in this life and the next, I'll be there. I love you. Matt, <clears throat> you are my best friend and my match in every way. You came into my life just as I was giving up. Accepting my person, my soulmate wasn't out there. And worse, I began believing the lie that maybe I squandered my chances. Maybe I made too many mistakes, mistakes that God was simply giving up on me too. And then he brought you to me. Matt, you are my treasure and a reminder of God's grace and faithfulness. You're a reminder that Jesus thrives among the ruins and always gives beauty for ashes. Most importantly, you're a reminder that Jesus loves me fiercely. Today I make you the promise to love you as fiercely as I can and to always cling hand in hand to God's promises. I promise to fight relentlessly for what sets your soul on fire. I promise to pray with and for you and go into battle with you every day. I promise to share in your grief as much as your joy. And when the hard days come and they will come, they have come, I will remind you of how fiercely Jesus loves you too. Matt, you saved my heart, and I promise to be your companion, wife, and best friend for the rest of my life. I love you. Okay, you're going to make all of us cry here. You already did, actually. Lisa with this ring. Lisa with this ring. I pledge my life. Pledge my life and love to you. And love to you in the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Lisa, you'll place the ring on Matt's left hand, and looking directly at him, repeat these words after me. Matt with this ring. Matt with this ring. I pledge my life. I pledge my life. And love to you. And love to you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Since Matt and Lisa have made these commitments before God, family, friends, by the authority of God, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, in the state of Florida, I declare that Matt and Lisa are husband and wife, and you may kiss your bride. Go ahead and do that, sir. <laughs> Summer love and then they pack it up and head out to California with 